what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? On Saturday, July 4th, the nation's Independence Day, an armed group of black militia members marched through Georgia's Stone Mountain Park, calling for the removal of one of the nation's most known Confederate monuments. The NFAT, also known as the Not Fucking Around Coalition, is staying true to his name and going viral while doing it. The armed, predominantly black militia group marched through Georgia's Stone Mountain Park for the July 4th holiday and outright challenged the KKK. Stone Mountain Park is considered the birthplace of the Ku Klux Klan and the home to the nation's largest Confederate monument, a nine-story high sculpture depicting Confederacy President Jefferson Davis and Southern Generals Robert E. Lee and Stonewall Jackson. In 1915, the Klan held its rebirth ceremony atop the mountain with flaming crosses and it's a hotbed for the Klan who still hold gatherings there. With that in mind, the armed group marched on the location to make a statement and invoke their Second Amendment rights. I want the heart of the Ku Klux Klan to hear me no matter where the fuck you are, said an NFAC member in a video. I'm in your house. Where you at? You made a threat. We don't threaten. What y'all think about that? Klansmen, Klansmen enthusiast, where y'all at? Y'all ready? I doubt it. Here's why I say I doubt it. See, y'all don't strike unless you have a clear cut advantage, i.e. size, numbers, or weaponry. This is how they operate. Look at the police. That's what they do. That's the only time they move. When somebody got them out match, they ducking and diving and running. They won't roll up on you when you're ready for it. They only roll when they feel like they got an easy win. This is the way they operate. This is why so many Klan members, these racists, are joining the police department because they know they can't do nothing head up. They whack. They weak. They're cowards. So they hide behind the shield. They go get, get the uniform on, and now all of a sudden they're their grandpappy all over again. That's what they're doing. When they, when they go to join the police force, they're trying to reincarnate their grandpappies. That's what that's about. Ironically, not one police officer on the scene couldn't see one cop. Oh, they knew they were there. You better believe the phone was ringing off the hook. Oh, they out here. You Negroes, you got Negroes out here, man. There's a bunch of them. Who one of them had two guns. Oh, Lord. Some women out here with guns, too. Oh, good Lord. Uh, we're not used to the blacks standing up for themselves and invoking their Second Amendment rights. We're not used to that. What, 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 what should we do? Click. And they ain't trying to get in the middle of that. They don't want no smoke, man. When you ready for it, they don't want no smoke. They're not trying to hear all of that. This is why I keep telling black folks, arm yourselves and be prepared to defend yourselves and your families. You want it to stop? That's how you stop it. It's the American way. Anybody out there that's a believe in this American way and this Constitution, the Second Amendment, wouldn't have a problem with nothing I'm saying. Because I'm talking about the first law of nature is what? Self-preservation. Self-preservation, baby. That's what it's about. More people more militias in every single state, in every single city, really, especially all of the metropolitan cities. There's no excuse why there shouldn't be a black militia in every single 
major city in America and secondary cities, from smaller markets. We need them because that's really where the clans hide at. They're more comfortable in those little small towns. That's where they really get down at. So you got to meet force with force, man. You're not going to be able to meet these people who are, who are intent on taking your life, destroying you and your family. You're not going to be able to reason with them because they don't reason. They're bullies. Bullies have to be bullied. Nothing else works. Nothing. If you think I'm lying, just look back and see what we tried in the past. All that praying and kneeling and, and, and crying and asking, man, that shit don't work. It don't work at all. Force respects force and nothing else. If you don't hear nothing else I say, remember that. You know, that display of force on July 4th, it was very telling. They went there to the park where the Klan normally shows up at, especially on 4th of July. Boy, they love showing it off. Boy, they love. I mean, think about it, fam. Think about the sight of Klan's members going to the top of that mountain and burning crosses. What do y'all think about NFAC marching through the park? Stone Mountain, one of the most racist places in America. Marching through, it's a new day. Past time in my opinion. If nothing else, this is a good reminder to the Trump deplorables that those gun laws go both ways. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?